Well, well, well. Welcome back, folks. Welcome back. We back again. I tell you, uh, Jamal just won't leave me alone. I, I can't get no rest. I mean, if we got another video here. So, this is Sharon. You know who I am. <laughs> and my co host is. One and only. Do it all, Jamal. Mm. And I always working hard, TC. Just walk through the door. Yeah, poor TC. Working 11 hours. And got to come home work another 30 minutes to an hour. Ain't that something? <laughs> Well, folks, you see our, our fair use disclaimer up there on that screen? And y'all seen it before. You don't need to read that. You know what it's about. You know what it's about. So, uh, we're talking about another corrupt mayor. And this time, she's Asian. Thank God she ain't <laughs> black. Her name is Shay Chang. <laughs> Shang Tao. Shay Tao. <laughs> All right, you gonna stop there. You gonna mess around and say that something wrong. That is the name, Shay Tao. I know the way you're saying You gonna mess around and say something wrong. Shay Tao? Now you're saying it right. All right, that's, let's go ahead and get to the video. Well, um, like I said, this mayor, the FBI is on this mayor's tail. Yeah, the FBI done raided her house. And, and four other uh, homes, uh, businesses she owned. I mean, she said this, Shay Tao is the mayor of Oakland, California. We are already in the Bay Area this time. I tell you, uh, the women... Man, what that tell you the women belong? If you can't handle the power, you need to be in the kitchen cooking those meals, scrubbing those floors, and changing those babies. If you can't do your job correctly as a public official, stay home. Stay home. Cook those meals for your man and scrub that floor. And we got this from ABC7. Now, mm. roll this beautiful bean footage. Kamasi, we are standing outside of the home, which according to property records and an ABC7 source, this is the home of Oakland Mayor Shang Tao. And we have learned that this home was raided by the FBI earlier this morning. We're told that this happened just before six o'clock this morning. Mm. A neighbor who was actually here visiting from San Diego had just told us that she was woken up to the sound of um, police banging on her door saying to open the door. And we just got a statement from the FBI moments ago before coming on air telling us that the FBI is conducting court authorized law enforcement activity on Maiden Lane. We are unable to provide additional information at this time. Earlier today, we did see some FBI um, some FBI staff come out and hand us a business card to go to the public information office to get this information, but really they are being very tight-lipped about what is happening out here. So Now, we got Shane Tao, Cartel Mayor, they all learn from the black people. <laughs> all the women mayors, I mean, we had about, what, four or five, haven't we? Probably more than that. The ones that we reported on. Yeah. And, and all the women mayors, and they're all doing the same stupid stuff. Mm -hmm. And we know it's stupid because the FBI is involved in it. And That's they got true. court order warrants. So they she do, they doing something corrupt and dumb. So evidently, yeah, she's been doing something corrupt for a long time. we just now catching the story. I mean, this don't make any sense. That's why God didn't intend for women to run nothing. You see, they don't know how to act. They don't know what to do. They do crazy, stupid stuff. They they run it on their emotions. And they greed. Mm -hmm. uh, they just uh, basically just stupid. Just stupid. <laughs> you know, the, you know I, I'm, I'm a woman myself, so, you, the, the, you know, you, you can't say I don't know what I'm talking about, okay? <laughs> so, and I said... If a woman don't need to be in no positions like that, they need to sit their butt at home, be a secretary, you know, be a social worker, be a nurse, and it's not, be a teacher. And it's not going back to Bible days, even though it's in there, but if you can't handle the power as a public official, you need to sit at home. Well, it was never designed for a woman to run anything. That's true. It, it's, it's, a, it's a man's world. And you, and... The women proving it. They don't know how to do nothing. They all in their emotions, all in their feelings. They don't think about something. They just do. They do and think later. Yeah. 
Oh, Shane Towns. Oh, she, I'm going to learn from Tiffany and get some of that money myself. <laughs> I mean, this is, this is, well, well, at least they give them the FBI something to do. Yeah, at least your uh, federal tax dollars are going to work. Yeah. <laughs> Been paying taxes for over uh, forty years. At least I know somebody's doing something with it. <laughs> it's going in the it's going in the mayor's pockets. <laughs> uh, you should be here earlier when we did a video. But uh, that that's just the way it is. Ain't nothing yeah. you can do about it. And you know, she got that four. They said they. Four other locations, or maybe three other yeah. locations besides that, because they were four locations. Okay. Right. So they three other locations that being raided by the FBI too. Well, let's play more of the video. Right now, I'm joined by ABC 7's ABC 7 and Insider Phil Matier with some extra context of what is actually going on here. So, Phil, talk us through um, a little bit about what's happening here. Well, my understanding from law enforcement source is that this is one of four locations in Oakland where warrants have been issued and searched for this morning here. Mm. Exactly what it's about remains a mystery. We don't know, but we've seen the activity going on here. And this it comes at a very difficult time for Mayor Sheng Tao. Just earlier this week, uh, petitions calling for her recall qualified wow. and made it onto the ballot. So she's facing a recall right now. Mm. And now there is this situation. We don't know if it involves her directly, if it's somebody involved in the House. We do not know the, the context of it overall. We're still working the story. But as you can see from the turnout here of the law enforcement and the media, the, this is... A, something significant is going on. Absolutely, and we are seeing at least three unmarked police vehicles parked in front of the home right now. Phil, I wanted to ask you, because she is facing this potential recall here as Oakland mayor, what is the likelihood that this could be a possible hoax or like a bogus call no. called in against the mayor? Uh, the idea with the FBI doesn't respond to calls. This is a court-ordered warrant uh, search. So in other words, they've gone through the courts, they've gotten this permission, they have given a reasonable cause for them to be here. So it's interesting to note that there are not Oakland police here either. So this is a federal matter. This is not, not necessarily a state matter or a city matter. It's a We'll keep you posted as we learn more. But as I said, it's one of four possible locations, so it shows something that could be involving other people as well. Okay. Any other information about those other four locations, where they might be, who they could involve? No, the feds are being tight-lipped, even with local law. Yeah, the, the feds not going to say much right now. Of course not. Mm -hmm. they, they don't want you to start hiding stuff. They, they don't they, want you do you like, don't know what they're looking for. They don't want to do like Tiffany Henry, start hiding, shredding stuff. I mean, I, I don't you know the people of Oakland recalling her. They should somebody should have tried to recall Tiffy. Well, they did try to recall her, but and they won. But then they she went to the Supreme Court and found it unconstitutional, and she got back in. Wow. <laughs> this 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 don't make any sense. And this is this is a corrupt world that we live in, and it, it you know this have nothing to do with with. Uh, your ethnicity. Oh, did I say that word right? Yeah, yeah you, you make sure you don't want to pull a Tiffany. <laughs> <laughs> say it and spell it wrong. <laughs> it, you know, it doesn't matter the skin color. It's, it's, a, it's corruption, it's greed, and it's a lack of understanding of uh, and of unwilling to follow the rules and policies and procedures. I mean, they have policy and procedures in place for a reason. And you go go in there and do things your way. They act like they the governor of the state just doing it, whatever. I mean, can you imagine if they had a higher position? Well, well mm -hmm. that is why, you know, I I, I know some of, some of you feminists, if y'all listen, you gonna come for me. <laughs> we don't need no woman president. We do not. What would you think, T.C.? I mean, you can't have him the duties as mayor and lieutenant governor. And, and why, you know, go ahead. Why do you need to be president? You can't do that in the White House. When you have one of your, your PMS days, you get up that, you know, that, oh, your stomach's cramping and you angry and, you know, you, you, you're reaching for a glass of water and you hit the red button. And keep in mind, 
the mayor is a part-time job. They can't even handle no part-time job. That's right. <laughs> it, it'd, be a, it'd be a sad day in America. You know, if a woman become president, maybe that's God's plan to end the world, put a, put a woman president in there. When, when you see a woman get voted in a president, you need to start praying, get your life right, because the world is getting ready to come to an end. <laughs> So come for me if you want to, feminist. I don't care. Don't burn your bras and come for her. Yeah, I already burned the bras. <laughs> so they burned it already. Yeah, come for me. I said what I said. I said what I said. Come for me. So basically, it is, it is what it is. It is what it is, and I ain't taking nothing back. I had something on it, but I won't take it back. <laughs> so, uh. Now the corruption fell into the Asian women, Asian community. I, I told you, it, it's, it ain't got nothing to do with that. It's corruption, greed. The trickle down effect. Yeah. Every, everybody like money. I like money. I mean, I like money. money but I ain't going to go to prison for it. I'm, I'm not going to do that. I ain't going to do nothing put me in behind bars. I mean, good Lord. I don't... I mean, look at poor Bernie Madoff died in prison because of his greed. Now, let's, let's play some more of the video. Enforcement, they give a heads up that they're going to be coming in because they don't want problems. They don't want a situation where there's any kind of confusion. But as anything further right now, they're not saying. And obviously when they come in and do a raid like this, you have to have a warrant signed off on by a judge. Can you talk about how serious that is? And you have to kind of something in writing with yes, this situation. Right. You have to get the judge's permission. You have to say why we're going in there and what possible laws are violated or under question. So yes, this, this is a search warrant thing. It's very peaceful. But a little while later, possibly we'll see people coming out with documents and goods, so stay tuned. Right. And it should be noted that so far this morning, we have not seen any FBI officials or bringing out boxes or any or kind of items. The calls to the mayor's staff and such have not been picked up, so we have no word from the mayor's office on what's going on. Okay. No word yet from the mayor's office on this. Thank you, Phil, for your time. We're going to continue to stay out here and work this story. That's what we know right now. Again, we are standing outside of the home believed to be the the mayor of Oakland's home. That's Oakland Mayor Shang Tao. It was raided by the FBI this morning. Mm. FBI officials are still on scene. Mm, We're seeing mm, at least mm. three unmarked cars right in front of the home. Mm. We will have much more on this story coming up later on ABC 7 at 11. For now, reporting live in Oakland, Lena Howland, ABC 7 News. All right. <laughs> wow. Wow. I'm, I can't even say I'm shocked no more. Cause no, no. We didn't send too many mayors. Too for, many female mayors. Too many. Then the new one, I, okay, I won't discriminate. There'd be some males too. Yeah, the Brandon Johnson and, uh, and that, Christopher Clark. And another, no, that, that big old fat mayor down there in, in, uh, in, uh, Illinois, yeah, not too far from, uh, the big, the big old Shamu well. Yeah, that, that big old greasy man. Uh, Mm, mm, mm. Power, little, get a little bit of power and it goes to your head. You feel like you can, you untouchable, unstoppable. Do whatever you want and it can't nobody do anything about it. I think it's the fact that you over uh, uh, millions of dollars and you get greedy. You see all that money and you get greedy. Oh, ain't nobody gonna miss all this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ain't nobody gonna miss $10,000 here, yeah. 10000 there. Yeah. Hey. Not everybody talk about these mayors, but we got the low views on the cartel mayor. The yeah. gangster mayor. Yeah. Yeah, the gangster mayor and nobody wanna interact with her. Everybody scared of her cause she get the she got the gang members going after people. Is that all right? Well, like I said, and really much more we can really speak on this because we haven't really been following the story. All I can say is if if you if you don't think you can do what's right. Don't take positions like this where you over large amounts of money. If you if you know you 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 underhanded and you you don't have any morals or integrity, stay away from jobs like that. You you don't you don't need to be around that kind of money because next thing you know you gonna be your you go your little sticky fingers gonna go in there and take about a hundred dollars and then you are gonna get away with it. Then it gonna be two hundred and three hundred. So the sticky old gecko fingers go. Got the honey on their fingers, so they, uh, <laughs> so they stick to their fingers. Yeah, 
I mean, stay away from positions like that where you're in charge of money and you have some power over people. You you don't need that. You don't, you don't need that kind of trouble. You really don't. So uh, go down there to the little, little thumbs up. Give us a thumbs up and like our, like us. I mean, no, that, that's free. You can do that, can't you? Hmm. Yeah. And then go over there and 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 uh, subscribe and hit that little bell and leave us a comment. What you think? What you think about old Shang Tao? Shang Tao is good. She wild. Yes, she is. All right, and this is the one and only Jamal. Ugh. I'm glad there's the only one Jamal. Somebody gotta do all the work on and, this. And then it's your one and only hard worker TC. Mm mm mm. One and only. Ain't that something? Mm -hmm. Well, I'm the one and only Sharon. <laughs> How about that? Well, until we meet again, folks. Until we meet again. That's that's too that's too better. <laughs>